this is the final day for my hockey puck. I'm getting rid of it, and I bought some new uh, jacking pucks, which I think are really nice. I just got them yesterday, and uh, this is what the, one of them looked like. It's uh, flat on the bottom, so this is obviously going to go into the bottom of the car, and uh, these screws will go in into there. I'll show you how they work. So here's the new puck. Here's the bolt that goes up and twists 90 degrees. It's, it's very, very simple, actually. This works pretty good. When you put this up, and this guy is up here into the hole in the car, all of the holes in the car, the oblong holes in the car, they all run uh, front to back. So when you put this up with the two screws, in other words, look, I have the two screws in here, and I'll, I'll just put one in here, and this is on here and the other one. When you put this up, you're going to put it in this way because the, the oblong holes run uh, front to back on the car. So what you want to do is once this gets up into the hole, then you're going to turn it 90 degrees. Now the, the tip that I'm giving you is these two holes are always going to be looking at you and they're at 90 degrees. So if you get tightening things up and it turns or something, all you have to do is make sure that that these two holes are facing you while you're tightening this up. So when it's up here like this, you want the holes facing obviously towards you. Doesn't matter which way, but as long as they're facing towards you, you're gonna be good. What I did is I put the two screws in the holes and then holding it with my finger here, I put these two guys on here and then I start to tighten them up. And in fact, you can actually set them down here on the, on the uh, thing here, on the paper. And uh, what I'm going to do is tighten these up. Tighten them both up. And once they start to turn in the holes, then what I do is I just go outside here and I turn them uh, here like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep turning these till I get the screws flush with this little rectangular piece here. So once I get these flush with the rectangular piece, and I'm almost there now, and you, you, know, you don't have to be accurate, you can just be close. Now, when you put this up into the car, it's going to go in this way. If that's the, if the front of the car is this way, if this is the front of the car and this is the back of the car, you're going to have to go in the hole that way. And then, when you turn it, it's going to go this way. That means that the two holes are going to be facing you, and that's when you want to tighten it. And you'll be golden. It'll work just fine. So let's go over and put in this last one. The last, uh, the last one. We found the oblong hole. And I have the jacking puck right here. And uh, I'm gonna stick this up, this puck up into the hole. And again, like I say, these holes run front to back on the car. So once you get this up here, like I've got it up, like that, then all you have to do is turn it so the holes the two holes are facing you. See how that looks? Can, if I can get that right. See if you can see that. And I'm gonna tighten this up. Let me tighten this up. Okay, I've got that little beauty almost all tightened. And I'm just gonna put a couple of last uh, tight pulls on it. In fact, you might almost think about putting a little Loctite on the screws so they don't come loose. Um, that might be a good idea too. I haven't thought of that till I just sat here <laughs> putting the last one in. But I think six months from now when I go back to check the um, check these things um, to see if they've loosened up or not, I'll, uh, I might just take them out and put some Loctite. This is not even a one wrench job. This is a half a wrench job. It's very simple. You can probably put all four of these in about, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes tops. And notice I've got these two holes pointing towards me. All right, they're pointing this way. 
in other words, the pointing that you can see right here if I bring the bring it back out. And if you look across the the here, uh, you might even be able to see the other red one on the other side. I don't know if you can or not, but you might be able to see it. Okay, I'm doing the final turn right here. Ah, get that nice and tight. And that should be it. We're good. And I like these pucks. I think they're going to work out just fine. So, and, and the other thing, I think, the fact that they're red, I think, uh, you know, when you take it to a, where any place you're going to have the car service, it's pretty easy to see where to jack the car. It's not a mystery. Tow hooks. The subject of the second part is our tow hooks. And there is a place right here that that comes out that uh, you can open up that uh, you can place a tow hook right in there. Pretty nice, huh? And not only is there one on the front, but there's also one here in the back, and I'll show you that. And that is right here. You can see the shape. I've had this open. <laughs> It fits pretty snug, but that's the uh, tow hook spot for the rear of the car. So you might want to say, uh, oh, I don't know, are tow hooks really important? Do I need a tow hook in my car? Um, why? Well, if something happens to your car and you have to uh, have it flatbedded or something, wouldn't you rather have a tow hook pulling the car? rather than somehow pushing it on the flat, boat or bed or, the flat bed or something like that. In other words, a tow hook is really valuable. In fact, I'm going to put my tow hook right in my front, F-R-U-N-K. It's going in there. And over here, I have my tow hook, which I will show to you. I just got it in the mail. There she is. And I use this little plastic device to pop open that enclosure or the, the front and the back because the tow hook should be able to go in the front or the back of the car. It should work fine. There's only one problem. I'm very disappointed. <laughs> Can you tell me why I got this tow hook after waiting well over three weeks? Had to come all the way from China and it's what do you think's wrong with it i'll give you three seconds to come up with an answer if you said it's the wrong size and it doesn't fit bob you're absolutely right it's the wrong size and the damn thing does not fit so after all these weeks waiting and then i thought well you know i'll delay doing the tow hook video tow hook video but uh then i said no yeah i want to get the you know Put the, the uh, jacking pucks and the tow hooks together. That's what I plan to do anyway. And uh, just put the two things together and do it. So, uh, well, I am doing, <laughs> I am doing it. And I will not be screwing this in uh, because it doesn't fit. So I'm currently working to send it back. And finally, this is crazy. Tow hooks for C7s are about $38, something like that. Tow hook for a C8, I see them anywhere from $84 to $200. Can you imagine buying something like this for $200? It's got to be gold plated or something. I don't know what the heck, but anyway. Uh, and also, the other thing is nuts, and I don't get it. If you have a tow hook, let's say, for a C7, will it fit in a C8? Here's another question for you guys and gals out there. If a tow hook, can you take a tow hook from a C7, and will it fit in a C8? And all you smart people said, no, it won't. You have to buy a C8 tow hook to go into a C8. You cannot use a C7 tow hook. That's right. You cannot use a C7 hook, tow hook in a C8. So think about it for a moment. If you had the tow hook in it and you 
got lucky and had the right size and it was in here. Um, wouldn't you rather, let's say that something happened uh, transmission wise or mechanically or engine wise or something like this and you had to have the car flat bedded, wouldn't you rather have the tow truck guy hook onto this tow hook and pull the car onto the flatbed rather than people pushing on it and shoving it and jamming it and putting wires on it and all kinds of pulleys. This is the way to go. And this one should also fit in the one in the rear in case they wanted to or had to uh, pull the car onto the flatbed uh, from the rear of the car. So think about it. When I get the right one, it's going in my front and it will stay there just in case. It's kind of like an umbrella, you know. If you bring an umbrella with you, it usually doesn't rain, but if you don't bring the umbrella, guess what? Of course it rains. Tow hooks. Get one for your car. Oh, and by the way, I put a link on this video for the pucks. They're very, uh, it's a pretty good deal. Uh, you get them on a Amazon, and uh, I haven't put a link up yet for a decent tow hook for a decent price. But when I find one, I will uh, add it to this video. So keep an eye on this video. It might show up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and uh, what's the other button you hit? Comment. Leave a comment. See if you think, tell me, do you think it's worth having a tow hook in your car or not? Good question.